kind of float on it, but you can feel the bike just go for it. So I had planned on a nice casual lunch ride, but the gentleman at the test lab offered to throw me on the rolling road. I even have to have a helmet to do this. Oh, come on. Yeah. Yes. All right. Oh, maybe. I'm back. Yeah. So we saw this when I was here last time, and now I actually get a ride on it? You do. Yeah, so we do have a little bit of a test you need to go through here. Right, so, right. you know, we've, it's a pretty, pretty, pretty severe test for us. You know, we've got a lot going on here, you know? Yeah. We get uh, this thing can, you know, get up to 20 miles an hour. You know, it could spit a bike off. We're going to set you up with the harness here and you can see the ropes on the, the, the system here. That's so that you're safe. Even if the, something were to happen to the bike, it can go out the back, but you're going to be safe. <laughs> this is gnarly. Oh man. So this is like, a Peloton or a Zwift or a treadmill taken, taken to the absolute next level. You said 20 miles an hour on this thing? Uh, yeah, we, we'll go up to 20, we can get up to 20 miles an hour on this. We can get up to actually like 20% grade up. No one told me I was going to be climbing today. Down. <laughs> so you might get a little bit of climbing in today. We probably won't take you all the way to 20%. Right, I though. appreciate I appreciate it. 15 is good. <laughs> if you look on these, uh, there's slats on here. There's 87 of them. And we can change those out to where it's either a complete flat road or we can put up to one inch uh, bumps on there as if you were hitting potholes, Ooh. basically. All right, and so a lot of this is testing the tires and the rims or what is, what is this primarily used for? It's a complete system test. We can test everything from the tires, the wheels, the drivetrain, the suspension, the handlebars, anything you can think of. They want to know how the chain and the front chain rings and the rear derailleurs are all interacting. And so you think about the chain whip you get on riding washboards. So they want to see what all that does. And that's perfect is when Brian can, can and we'll show this, but Brian uh, will take some videos and you can see that chain moving. And you'd be amazed at how far the chain moves while you're riding washboards. As part of this analysis, what we do is we have a high speed camera set up so that we can look at how the, the tire and wheel are hitting. Yeah, thanks to Nord and Chaz, we kind of have some basic information that we need to go off of uh, as far as setting up tire pressure. So we'll, uh, we'll input the tire width, the rim width, we'll input the tire casing, the rim type. So today we're working with hookless, uh, tubeless straight side. So we'll select that. Our surface, we'll go dry surface and we'll calculate. Cool, so we're gonna set the front 30, 32.8, you probably go with 33 just to make it easy, and about 35 for uh, rear PSI. As you can imagine, the, with our TSE story, we're testing all kinds of different tires. I think that's awesome that you're not just testing like one tire or like a zip tire. You're really, for all the riders that are gonna be riding zip products on any given tire, you're making sure that the TSE is applicable to everything. Right, right. We wanna make sure that we're making all of our riders as fast as they can be. <laughs> all right, this is just two bumps. Yeah, yeah, it sure feels like 33 PSI. <laughs> all right, this is way different when you put the slats on. All right. What we were doing while Chaz was doing his cert is we captured some high-speed footage. And with that camera, if you think about your normal iPhone shoots at 240 frames per second, we're shooting at 2000 frames and we can even go up to 200,000 frames per second if we really wanted to look at some really high speed stuff. Again, what we can do is then we can just really scrutinize how the tire deforms and if the rim kind of deflects and deforms on those bumps. So what we've done is there's now 10 bumps on here. Okay. And if you look at them, and you can see it's written on the end. Oh, yeah. There's uh, five that are half inch bumps and five that are quarter inch bumps. All right, okay, this is definitely way different than even just the two bumps. This is like, it used to just cruise, like gravel grind. And this is what I'm doing now, but then you kind of float on it, but you can feel the bike just go for it. Right. We're gonna replicate the same thing, but now I'm up at 40 PSI as opposed to 33. Right. And even just the way that the bike handles when I'm going side to side, I never thought about tire pressure really affecting those little movements, but it's so much, it's just so much rougher. It's not, I'm, not, I'm, try, I'm trying to hold a line right now, but the bike is like everywhere. <laughs> that was brutal, 40 PSI. So we were at 33 PSI, we went up to 40 PSI, and now we're down at 27 PSI. All right, so we got baseline of 33, 
we're going seven up and six down to kind of get a gauge and really I'm hoping this is a little easier than before. Chill. So chill. I mean just this is just it's mellow. This is good, this is hard. I figured it's, it's about ready. I'm not ready to eat some lunch. Where are you guys? I think that's a good idea. You guys ready to get some lunch? Wait, wait, we're all we're all gonna get lunch! But no! What are you? Guys! Guys, what are you? What are you doing? Guys, and somebody, and if I want to eat lunch too. Oh, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the like button. Smash the subscribe button.